Hello, everyone. Mark Gilead here for Amy Country Music Television, and our guest is Jason Brownie. Jason comes from a long line of military, police, and first responders. He has a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. He's working on his master's in cybercrime, and he's a third-generation law enforcement officer. He must have an endless energy. He's raising a daughter. He loves boating, fishing, all kinds of sports, and of course, music. Jason calls Southwest Florida his home, and being quite a country singer-songwriter, he calls Nashville his home away from home. We're going to talk about his latest release on his new record label, Clearwater Records. The song is Pretty Girl on the Passenger Side. Let's get Jason in here to talk about what might just be your new favorite song. Welcome, Jason. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Well, we are really, really happy to have you. Uh, we're glad that you were able to join us today. Uh, you've got a pretty interesting background. Uh, your family being involved in uh, first responders, military, law enforcement. You're working in law enforcement while also making a splash with your music. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, how you got started in country music? You know, what are your influences? What's next for you? Just tell us about Jason. Yes, sir. Well, yeah, I, I definitely have a full plate and uh, also being a dad. So my little girl takes up a lot of my time also, for sure. But um, yes, I am a first responder. I've been in law enforcement for about 14 years. Um, my dad was in law enforcement. My grandfather was in the CIA. My other grandfather was in the military police. Um, but as far as uh, music goes, just from a young age, I've, I've been singing and writing songs uh, since I I could talk pretty much. And uh, I just, I love, you know, country music. I love rock and roll music. And, you know, I, I try to implement a little bit of the rock and roll into my country music, you know. Um, but I, I have so many, I've been influenced by so many things. And I remember, you know, riding with my grandfather when I was a little kid, listening to uh, On the Road Again, Willie Nelson, and just Hank Williams Jr. and Waylon and all the good stuff. So. Yeah, and I and I assume you hang out some in Nashville now, but you still you still call Florida home, right? You do most a lot of uh, singing and playing around that area, correct? Yes, sir. I live in Southwest Florida, and then bounce you know back and forth um, between here and Nashville. So. Yeah, it's hard to be it's hard to be a country singer and not have some involvement with Nashville. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. So. Uh, well, we're here to talk about uh, the latest video, the uh, pretty girl on a passenger side. Uh, it looks like it's getting some attention. Uh, were, were you the solo writer on this song? I, I was. I did. I did write the uh, lyrics and music to that song. Very nice. Well, I don't know if we really need to ask about inspiration. I think the ladies inspire us all. But uh, <laughs> you want to tell us about writing the song? Anything in there that's uh, particularly sticks out to you? You know, it was just like a, a melody and hook that came to my mind one day and I started Pete and that song actually took a while to write because um, I did a lot I did a lot of rewrites for that song because the the bridge to that song was actually the original chorus and it just didn't sound like a chorus to me you know so I retooled it and worked with it a bunch you know and then uh, um, the rolling down the road uh, in this beautiful life was the last line you know and it kind of brought that whole song together and painted the picture that I wanted to capture yeah well, you know, well-crafted song like that, where it's uh, it sounds, you know, so happy-go-lucky, you just almost assume it spills out rather than, you know, rather than being crafted. But uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a little uh, little achievement there. Thank you. I, I describe it as as a really good. Uh, it's a light-hearted song, but it's it's a really good driving song. It's a song that makes you hopefully makes you want to, you know, crank up your radio yeah. you know, when you're cruising down the road. So. Yeah, Make, makes you so happy. <laughs> 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 well, I think it might be time to let everybody else uh, see this video we have here. Um, let's play it. Awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, you're watching Jason Brownie's video for Pretty Girl on the Passenger Side on AIM Country Music Television. Open road, cloud of dust, throttles wide open and my mind's made up. She's a little hard to handle when she gets round up, but she taught me a thing or two about love. Yeah, she taught me a thing or two about love. Yeah, she's 
Young and reckless and high on life She's a little rebel with fire in her eyes And I'm rolling down the road of this beautiful life With a pretty girl on the passenger side With a pretty girl on the passenger side Look out! Open road, summer breeze, rear views full of things I just don't need. I could drive this road forever, I don't care where it leads, cause I got my baby sitting next to me, yeah. Got my baby sitting next to me, yeah. She's young and reckless and high on life, she's a little rebel with fire in her eyes, and I'm rolling down the road of this beautiful life with her. Girl on the passenger side with the pretty girl on the passenger side, and we drive and I feel so loud and free. Cause I got the sweet thing next to me, and she loves me like the devil, but she's a name. And how on life She's a little rebel with fire in her eyes And I'm rolling down the road of this beautiful life With a pretty girl on the passenger side well, she's young and reckless and high on life She's a little rebel with fire in her eyes And I'm rolling down the road of this beautiful life With a pretty girl on the passenger side with a I like it. So uh, you want to tell us a little bit about the, the people involved in making this? I mean, was this at a concert or, you know, what was the background of this, uh, of this thing and who, you know, who was your videographer? Just tell us a little bit about it. Okay. So, yeah, we did have uh, some of our, our buddies uh, from Abundant Media from Nashville came down to shoot that video and it was shot over two days. We did all the concert footage uh, one day. And then the next day was all the B-roll with the actor and the actress and uh, the, the part where I'm walking down the dirt road with the guitar and everything. And, uh, and I, I was wearing the same outfit that I was wearing on the album cover to kind of intertwine that a little bit. So. That was a good idea. It really, it really did come out very nice. Thank you. So uh, what's the story on the, I'm a car guy. So what's the story on the, uh, the green pickup? I love that. Love that vehicle. Oh yeah. So that is actually a, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Rick Tree Wargy, and uh, he has an, a massive, amazing car collection. And he was gracious enough to uh, let us do a photo shoot with with that particular truck because um, we were look we were looking for an older Chevy, you know, to to do that photo shoot with, and it, it couldn't have come out any cooler. It was. No, it, it, it gets, it just gets your attention. It just looks so authentic to the, uh, the whole video surroundings to me. Oh yeah. So many people have asked me, Hey, is, <laughs> is that your truck? You know, and it, it's like, you know, I feel bad, you know, when I have to let them down and say, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's now officially part of your image. I think <laughs> yeah. definitely well, a cool truck. It really is. It really is. Well, before I let you get away from us, can you tell us where we can find you, uh, where to buy your music and, you know, where to see you live? 
Certainly. Um, JasonBrownie.com. I always tell everybody it's brownie like the dessert. <laughs> so it's easier to remember. Um, so JasonBrownie.com, uh, Jason Brownie Music on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm also on TikTok, um, Snapchat, all the social media platforms. Um, my music is available on all digital uh, platforms, uh, iTunes, um, Amazon Music, um, Pandora, Spotify, all, all those. So, um, I hope, hope you all like the song. Um, I got new music coming out next month. And the next single coming out is a song called Ain't How Whiskey Works. It's uh, it's not as not as lighthearted. Uh, it's not it's not a as feel good of a song as a uh, pretty girl. It's a little more on the serious side. But well, I'm looking forward I, to it. Thank you. When I write, I like um, I really like you know building off a play on words, you know, and that was one of them. Like ain't how whiskey works, you know. I'm like yeah. It's so um, well, thank you for coming on, Jason. It's really been good talking to you today. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it very much. You're, you're really welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Brownie. Thank you. So what do you guys think? Is Pretty Girl on the Passenger Side going to be your new favorite song? This has been Mark Gilliatt for AIM Country Music Television. Thanks for watching.